Well, what if your surgeon could practice your procedure before going into the operating room? An innovation team in Phoenix, Arizona is 3D printing the spines of patients who have severe scoliosis. Ursula Perry reports that way there are no surprises on operation day. Megan Johansson was diagnosed with scoliosis at age nine. When her fourth child turned three years old, her spine collapsed to a 90 degree bend. I couldn't breathe and I was starting to have really bad heart palpitations. She knew she finally needed surgery. This is the exact same model as this, but this is after we've already operated on it. Surgeons at Barrow Neurological Institute use CT and MRI scans to make 3D models of patients' spines before surgery. We know how to print these spines in such a way that um, will get the same tissue quality in the spine and the same biomechanical performance of the spine model as we would expect to in the patient. That really helps with complicated cases like Megan's. Her pedicle bones, for example, on the inside curves are too small for screws to straighten her spine. After working with the model, surgeons change their plan. It gives us an opportunity to rehearse the case to to practice the plan that we have going into it and say, is this going to work or not? Megan had been told her surgery would be 12 hours long and her spine only corrected to about 50 degrees. When I woke up from surgery five hours later, I was only 13 degrees and five inches taller. And it was a, it was a miracle. Here's her spine before. Here's it after. It only costs between 50 and $70 to build a 3D model of a spine. And it's not only used for the surgery itself, it's actually used to train surgeons as well as educate patients about what needs to be done. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.